Welcome out there everybody in YouTube world. My name is Kimberly. I'm a Poshmark and eBay seller and I'm going to tell you today about what I found at the Goodwill bins. I love the Goodwill bins. Shout out to the bin pickers out there. <laughs> I'm in LA so I shop at a couple different Goodwill bins. I love it. It's my drug of choice I should say and today I'm going to show you a Goodwill bin haul. Um, I even found an Alexander McQueen item that I'm not going to tell you what I found from him but you just wait till the end it's coming up that's my little hook that's my weight on the edge of your seat yes you can find absolutely great items at the Goodwill bins including Alexander McQueen yes you have to get your hands a little dirty but that's why you have soap to wash your hands you can wear a mask if you want but if you're a real reseller you will love the goodwill bins because you can find so many different things it's like a treasure hunt i'm like an archaeologist but instead i'm digging through the bins i love the bins so um i'm doing this video today not only to show you what i found at the goodwill bins i'm also doing this video because i'm at home all the time doing this on my own so I would love to meet other people in the YouTube uh, reseller world. That's part of the reason I'm doing this and doing the YouTube videos. Not money, obviously. That would be great. But it's really because I love being a reseller and I want to get more involved. So let's get started on what I found at the Goodwill Bins today. Um, well, actually, it was yesterday. So this is my haul. What I found, I spent approximately... $53 and I think I got 45 items approximately so let's get started I have a mix of everything um, I usually look for things that are in good condition um, the only reason I would pick up something that might have a flaw is if it's a really good style or brand so anyway we're gonna start off with whatever I have on top here the first item that I found well it's not the first item I found but one of the items I found is a simple Brandy Melville crop top. Now, it says it's 100% cotton. I looked twice because it feels like linen. Um, it looks like linen, but it's actually not linen. It's uh, just 100% cotton, but amazingly no stains, no flaws, which is hard to find at the bins um, in white. So just a simple crop top. You can wear with anything. You can dress it up, dress it down. So that's the first item. Um, next item that I have, and I know it's not summertime, but it's definitely hot in many places. I live in Los Angeles, and it's hot here today, about 80 degrees. So people are still wearing shorts. This is actually J. Crew. It is the older tag, but J. Crew still sells really well, no matter what the tag is in size four. And I thought these were really cute. It has pockets. Um, a beautiful classic stripe again something you can dress up or dress down um, so I like it a lot nice elastic waistband and just keep in mind if you see anything you like um, you can reach out to me on shipping joy at the at Poshmark and check out my closet next thing I actually got from my sister I took the pillowcase out because um, I don't know if they're they're not I didn't want my sister to have to clean it it is Halloween this week, so and she loves this pattern. So I got this Halloween pillowcase for her to put her own pillow in and wash the cover. It actually came, I didn't notice till I got home, with batteries, so I guess it lights up, which is kind of cool. So again, it's a skull, uh, the Day of the Dead pillowcase, and good for Halloween or really anytime because it's a very vibrant, beautiful pillowcase. Next item I found... Wow, as my pile falls over, thank goodness that's out of the screen so you can't see it. This is interesting, not something I would normally pick up, but I really love the tie-dye effect and the ruffle hem like a prairie dress. Again, I realize it's summer is over and it's fall, but it can go for fall colors. Plus, you can wear it with a blazer or jean jacket and boots. Um, it has beading on it, which I love. And this is actually from Charming Charlie. Um, size medium, 100% cotton. Has the elastic in the back, which I thought was really cool. And I just love the beat, the detail on it with the beading. So that's pretty much why I picked it up, and it's in great condition. It's probably a Medi or 
uh, right below the the knee depending upon what height you are I'm 5'2 so for me uh, it'll probably be much longer now next item which I love really really love I sh actually showed my son a couple hours ago and this is a brand I don't pick up often um, I have sold this brand before a couple times which is Lulu Row um, on my eBay store they'll they'll buy it more often there and it was because it was a really uh, the first item I sold Lululemon on my eBay store was a really pretty metallic uh, Lululemon shirt and I think it was an extra large so it sold really well because it was different and it was a solid color um, this one is actually watermelons it's a watermelon dress it's a fit and flare um, it has a zipper on the back easy in and out short sleeves has some stretch to it and it's actually a size small so for anyone that likes watermelons and and summertime or even now you can wear this in the fall because it has it's darker colors and you can wear a jean jacket I think it would be really cute so again Lulu Row size small watermelon dress so there's that next up I have something that I was really glad to grab because anybody out there that goes to the Goodwill Benz know um, that it's quite a bit of a fight sometimes to grab something in time that you see that you really really like so um, I can understand why some resellers don't do the Goodwill Benz because um, you have to be up for the fight sometimes and I'm up for the fight and the challenge it gets me just actually riled up and more excitement I mean, it's not like we're gonna get in a fight but there is a lot of grabbing going on at the Goodwill Benz because the price is great and you do find quite a few things just like I said I found an Alexander um, McQueen item and that was a, a find of a lifetime just because it was just so cool which I'll show you towards the end next item I found was a free people velvet long sleeve purple medi dress or well it's actually more of a tunic so it's more of a tunic length and looks like it would go kind of slightly off the sleeve uh, the shoulders excuse me and most of the time when I find free people it tends to be a size extra small or small but everything free people is typically oversized this is a small or an SP now I, that typically would mean small petite but when I do measurements on free people when it'll when it says petite or SP on it it's usually not really a petite size so I'm not sure if that means petite on free people I've never looked that up but look how gorgeous this is look at the shimmer in that just in time for the holidays Christmas time holiday parties so gorgeous love free people not all free people sell sorry I got a little text here um, not all free people sells um, I do have some free people in my closet that's been sitting for a little while so it's still about style as well but if it's a good style free people does sell really well next up <laughs> Never, another item that's more summery and this is actually a brand that doesn't sell so well for me so I don't know why I keep picking it up usually because it's really cute styles but still usually doesn't sell for me um, or it takes a while but I still got it because I thought it was beautiful and even if it sits a while even to summer because you'll see it's kind of a summer item I'm okay with that this is kimchi blue size 4 so not the uh, everybody is every, there's all different sizes so I try not to get a lot of small items of course at the bends you typically see a lot of smaller items I don't know why um, I'm sure there's a reason behind that but so anyway this is a size 4 and this is kimchi blue as I mentioned before cotton look at that embroidery I know it can look a little old ladyish it could go a little old ladyish but or it could go really cute teenager I don't know I just loved it I love the detail in the embroidery and the crochet in the back or all the way around looks like it's an empire waist and there's a flowy 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 long skirt pretty much a maxi depending upon your height but just beautiful spaghetti straps 
There you go there. I just thought it was lovely. Look at the back. You'd have a, a crisscross design in the back, which is great. Um, so depending upon if you, your size above, uh, you might want to wear maybe um, a bralette or not, depending upon what you want to do. But I love it. It's almost... It's almost a prairie, and it has a slip under sleeve under underneath, which gives kind of a puffy look. So, got that too. That's going up in my closet. Next thing up, which I also love, well, I guess most of the things, I try to buy things that either I would wear if they were my size, or something I would see in a magazine, or I try to keep up with the trends a little bit, but I just love this one. This was an anthropology brand, and this one, I'm not sure of the pronunciation. I think it's Odelli. Well, it's O D I L L E. I'll show you the tag. It's actually a size 10, and it has these little mustard yellow and cream or ivory hearts all over this black background. It's sleeveless, it's 100% silk, it has a tie, and it has like a cut out detail in the front not sure the name of that it's a button down loose flow good size size 10 almost my size but not quite because i would definitely wear this it could go business or just cute with some jeans i love it so that's again an anthropology brand which sells usually pretty good um, depending upon the style now this next item I found is an interesting concept. I love the brand, which is Theory. If I could find the tag, give me one, mom one moment. Here it is, Theory. Now this is a very interesting thing they did on this one. This one says O-S-F-A, which means one size fits most. Mm, I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> I think this is more like, hmm, really a small or maybe a four or six, but even with the stretch they have in it, because it's an elastic waist and it's a jean skirt with the detail in it, um, it's kind of a fit and flare. Can't really wear it as a dress, even though they have, it's too short. So it's more of a skirt uh, that has... Uh, you really don't fold it up. It's kind of like a Spanx in one. So you pull it up on your waist. But I still thought it was, I love the brand Theory. Sells pretty well for me. I just, and it's in such good condition. I think it's great, but we'll see who likes it. My son was saying something to me. Go ahead, son. I have a 20-year-old son and a 17-year-old son. The most fabulous kids on earth. So, I guess my son's great me. Okay, next up. And I, I see we're 13 minutes in. I'm going to try not to go past 20 minutes. But in the YouTube world, obviously, if you had enough, you can stop, change me. Hopefully, you come back and subscribe. Because I plan to do a lot of videos If you like this. If you like Goodwill Ben Halls, um, I'm going to be definitely doing that. Everything that I'm learning about reselling, I'm going to share my, my journey on that. So hopefully you'll come back and subscribe. Again, my uh, Poshmark store is Shipping Joy, so you can always just check out my closet. The next item up is a men's top. I just grabbed this because, A, it's a cool Nike Air shirt. I've never seen anything like this one. Short sleeves. Let's see what size this is. This is just cool. I do sell men's uh, clothing as well. Um, it's a very, it's very light. Wherever the size is, it's extremely light. So I'm looking for that. It's just a uh, the Nike T. It has I'm gonna look for the size. It has Nike throughout in the pattern, written in letters. It's just cool. It's a cool graphic. Um, still looking for the size. Oh, it's an extra large. So a very good size. Uh, for men and young men, um, my son could probably fit, my older son would probably fit this one. But I just think it's really cool. It's like a padded Nike. It's a raised Nike. It almost feels like a basketball 
or rubber I should say. So really cool. That's why I got this one. Hopefully you can see everything okay. So again, ah, next item. I didn't know what this brand was, but sometimes you can just look at the tag and if it's a really big tag that looks either very intricate or just nicer than the basic black tag. Um, sometimes it's a brand that's a higher end brand I found. Um, this one is called T dot LA. I had never heard this brand, but I just really liked this floral top. It's, it's got really cool designs. Um, not only is it pretty with the yellow and orange detail and gray, it's a three quarter sleeve. It has princess cut, um, detail here. So it pulls in the waist which is really cool. You normally wouldn't see that. So I knew it was something that was probably a higher brand just because it's just, there's a lot of detail in this uh, simple t-shirt that makes it a little bit more dressed up. It's in great condition, which again, you really have to check out your things when you go to the bins because the lighting is normally bad. And I would say 10% of the clothes I bring home, unfortunately, when I put them up next to the ring light, I'll see a, a tiny hole or a stain. Um, I still uh, do list those items typically on eBay on auction so I could at least get my money back. Just a little tip if you guys didn't know that. And usually I'll get a couple dollars more. So anyway, so this one is an anthropology brand, T.LA. So this will go up in my closet. Um, next brand, which it needs to be washed, has a couple hairs on it. I do wash most of the items that, of course, if it's dirty, I wash it. If it's like in pristine condition, no smell, nothing, I don't wash those items, to be honest. Um, only the items that are dirty have a stain or they have a smell. Otherwise, I would imagine most people with used clothes either do wash it again when they um, receive it or if everything's fine, they'll wear it and, of course, wash it later. So, again, this one's a new brand from Target. Um, it's called A New Day. I'll just show you the first, the label. It's called a new day. This is a size large. The reason I got this, not only because it's fall, but it's just a simple black sweatshirt. And when you pull it up, ba boom, you have dragonflies in all its glory and sequence. I love sequence. It reminds me of Vegas and I love Vegas. So I thought this was really cool. So it's got the colors in the sequence are like a, a bronze, a white, a gray, and a black. Even though it reads, it looks like kind of almost blue in the, but it's not. So just a very simple, soft, cozy sweatshirt, which I love. So got that. I do buy a lot of jeans, although this is, this is the supposedly the time for jeans. And I don't sell jeans as well as some people. I'm not sure why, because I think I do get a lot of good brands, definitely higher end brands. And low end brands, I, I don't discriminate from brands. If it's a cute style, a good price, I should say, or I'm going to make a, a decent profit, I try to make a profit of at least $10. That doesn't happen all the time. Um, but that's okay. It all adds up in the end. So the next item I got, which I actually like the brand, and it's called Cut from the Cloth, Cloth with a K. And these are just simple, looks like almost straight leg, borderline skinny jeans. And I like these, they're not too dark, not too light, has a little whiskering in the jeans. I like cut from the cloth because they have a nice stretch. I actually found that out from a couple months ago, I bought a cut from the cloth and didn't realize there was no button attached. That's another thing you have to check the buttons on the jeans and the zipper in between the thighs where all the wear happens, the hems. This one has great hems um, when you're at the bends, but typically when I get tired at the end, things start to go awry. But this is a size eight. And what I was saying, going back to the first cut from the cloth item I bought that was missing a button, I realized that it was one size smaller than what I wear. And when I put them on, they fit so just to say it has a nice amount of stretch so i kept the jeans myself either i'll put a button or it'll be my pants that i wear when i eat too much at sushi stop which is a fabulous asian restaurant okay next up 
one of my other favorite brands that I sell a lot pretty quick again depending on the style but usually you get a decent profit and it definitely has a following and that's Dr J Crew. again even the older brand does sell for me this is a size zero so definitely one of the smaller with size zero zero uh, lucky them um, obviously there's all sizes big and small and all are beautiful and this one's just a simple J Crew button up has looks like almost a tulip on it this one is long sleeves just a simple blouse again something you can you can dress up or dress up with some jeans or whatever you want to do skirt all right let's mix it up a little bit the next item we're at 20 minutes okay let's i was wrong maybe it'll be 30 minutes um <laughs> again Go get something to eat, go get a cupcake, get a drink, and come back and see what I'm selling. Um, pause me, come back, whatever you need to do, watch me later. Um, the next thing I found, which was cool, wasn't an, I don't typically like to sell kids' clothes because uh, the profit is usually not as much as I like. Um, but this was just something I couldn't pass up. This is Lily Pulitzer. And this is a size 12, 14 kids or extra large. And it, some slight wash wear as probably a lot of kids do. Well, a lot of clothes you find at the bins. But that's okay. Wash wear still sells. It's used, so it's probably been washed most of the time. Um, so again, this is just a cute, look at that bow. So cute. Short sleeve. Long little dress. Bows on the pockets very cute detail pink and blue simple back with the pink going down love it so I picked that up because I saw those Lily Pulitzer does still well on a lot of platforms because it's Lily Pulitzer not all Lily Pulitzer does well but um, I thought that was cute so holidays again next thing is completely different from Lily this is Patagonia these are ski pants they were just in excellent condition. Let me show you the, <clears throat> the brand, which a lot of you probably are familiar with if you resell. Patagonia. Not all Patagonia sells well for me. I've had some sit for a while, some shirts. But anyway, these are ski pants. Long ski pants. Wide leg. Excellent condition in black. These are a size medium and men's. So I'm sure it has some special features and special material and fabrics to keep you insulated when you go on different snow events or different cold areas because you use them for a lot of things. Lots of pockets. So I thought those were great. And how I price, just a quick thought. I usually, I definitely look at the comps unless I've sold it a, several times, that brand or that item or a similar item. Um, on Poshmark, the only downside is you typically price up by five or ten dollars because when you send an offer to Likers uh, to try to sell your item, you need some wiggle room to be able to sell them a lower price of what you're really actually trying to get. Next item up is also a men's brand. This one's Tommy Bahama, which again a lot of people are probably familiar with. Tommy Bahama with the palm uh, tree. This is a size medium, and most of his items, these button-up shirts, are uh, silk. This one's 100% silk. And for some reason why I find Tommy Bahama at the bins, I don't know if these men are not wearing them often, but they're always in just great condition. This one did have a little tiny stain on it, but overall, I mean, it's like pristine, especially for this cream um, color. Now the cool thing about this Tommy Bahama was the back detail. So you have Tommy Bahama Martini, the 19th hole, mixed master baby with the olive martini. I don't drink, but it looks fancy, so I'd probably put some lemonade or Sprite in that cup. All right, next up, and we're, oh, let me get to something juicy, juicy. This one is one of my favorites. It looks like somebody washed dry cleaned it and then they had enough of it they haven't worn it in a while I'm not sure this could pass off for fall color or summer 
It's orange. It's not a purse, <laughs> but it's her uh, a strapless or sleeveless, excuse me, sleeveless dress. Oh, go, it's uh, almost a maxi, not quite. It's probably more of like right below the knee. Again, depending upon the person's height. I'm trying to look at underneath the tag to see the uh, what it's made of. It's 100% cotton, size 8, Tory Burch. Did I say that? Tory Burch, knit sleeves, knit t a detail, the exact same thing pretty much in the back, zipper back, the very long... I like that. Let's see if it's lined. Yep, and it's lined. So you won't see underneath. Um, next item up, something new with tags, which probably 15 to 20% of the items I find at the Ben have tags, which is awesome, especially if it's a newer brand uh, or newer style. This one is not, <laughs> but this is Cabby. And most Cabby items I find sell fairly quickly for me. I've never found a new with tags. This is the older cabby label, size eight, a cotton polyester spandex mix. This is a jean skirt. Isn't the 70s in for this uh, season? I hope so. I got it anyway. Um, it is, I would call it a flare jean skirt. Um, I'm sure there's a more fancy word for it. Haven't thought of that. So it has these little pocket details in the front. I just thought it was cool. I mean, who can't go for a jean skirt? Especially if it's longer and it's fall. So I thought that was cute. Sticking with the skirt theme, a brand that I... One of the first shirts I sold on Poshmark, and I started Poshmark full-time probably May. I think I sold a couple things in April just for fun. There's more to that story, but we'll do that on a different day. And this brand that I'm going to show you, which is Dries Van Noten, is an extremely high-end brand. I found a shirt um, at the bins of the same brand when I first started, and it just was really cool. I had no idea who it was, so I don't typically shop at Neiman Marcus. I've been there, but I'm not really. I'm more of a Target shopper. Um, but anyway, um, Dries Van Noten, this is 100% silk. It's a black and cream striped pencil skirt. Zipper in the back. Yes, it's wrinkled. Um, but, I, and I will steam this. It has, I think it had a little stain. I'm not sure, but I still picked it up. It was just such a good brand. I might be able to get it out. I don't know. Next thing up, and we're almost done, 28 minutes in. If you haven't turned me off, can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I heard it doesn't matter if you like me or don't like me. As long as you watch something, it helps me. I have the camera's over here. I'm looking the wrong way. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You like the curly hair, you don't. doesn't matter. It still helps my channel. Just don't be nasty. I'm getting older. I might stroke out. Next thing I found was a White House Black Market acrylic, nylon, mohair wool, and lurex. Uh, these are called ponchos, I guess. Shaw, poncho. Not sure why it has an open neck here because the tag is here. And this is an old tag for White House, House Black Market. Has fringe detail, cable knit. Very cool. Good for the fall. I got a text. Sorry, it's probably my son saying I'm taking too long. Oh no, something else. Okay. Really cool though. Um, let's move on to the next thing. Gosh, I think I have about 10 more items. Uh, hopefully you can make it through. Don't leave me in the lurch. I'm already alone out here. All right, next up. Should have made it two parts. Uh, you can make it two parts. Just turn me off, pause me. And pick it up the next time because we are learning brands I do know brands not every brand I'm only been doing this about six months but I know a lot of brands and I can kind of tell you what I'm selling and what's I guess I'll be doing one of those what sold video uh, videos which looks really fun I watch a lot of those next up American Eagle Outfitters extra small this is called they actually put uh amazing 
soft. Huh. It's soft, but it's not uh, amazing soft like they're saying. Maybe it was before it was washed. Anyway, <laughs> this is like a rainbow. I thought that was so cool for fall. It's got a split hem. I just think that's really cool. It's really cool. It has a little stretch. So it could fit probably a little larger. Okay, next up on my list. <laughs> this is a good one. Someone did have a pin in it though, so it does have a little bit of a pinhole to hold it closed. I guess they don't want to expose too much. They probably should have just wore a bralette because it's an expensive brand. I've never found this before, but I've heard it from other YouTubers. Alice and Olivia. This is 100% silk. And looks like it's a size... Mm, it's a size, figure it out later kind of size because I can't find it. But it's a beautiful, what would you call this? Between a fuchsia and a purple. So they had a pin right in the front to close it up a little more. I say just wear a bralette. So there is a pinhole. Ah, I took it out as, e as slowly as I could. Elastic waistband, sleeveless. Look at that back with the zipper. It's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful detail. It's more of a shorter dress with the lining. Like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'd wear it if I could fit it. Oh, got a fun one coming up. Fun one. I keep forgetting I need to look over there. So otherwise I'm probably looking over there. You're probably what I'm looking at. Um, anyway, the next thing up, another LuLuRoe. Again, I don't really buy LuLuRoe often. Um, when I see it, because usually it'll be kind of a grandma pattern or just something that I don't think anybody should be wearing, frankly. But this one is Mickey Mouse. And who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? I'm not in love with Disney. I mean, I love it. Oh, don't hate me if you're a Disneyland uh, lover. I know there's a lot out there. Um, I love, I like Disneyland a lot. I'll go. I'm not a big rides person. I like the magic. I'd rather go to Vegas. Anyway, this is Mickey Mouse LuLuRoe. Let's see what size, just in case there's some Mickey Mouse lovers. Made in Vietnam. Oh, it says one size. Is that what LuLuRoe is for the bottoms? I, I've never really looked at the bottoms. But anyway, has stretch. Nice. Um, nice leggings. LuLuRoe. All right. What do we have next? All right, I have a, a shirt that... I always get one item that's more of a, let's take a chance. It's in good condition. Somebody will probably like this. I don't like it at all. My son said it was kind of ugly. But ugly sells and fashion is fun. Maybe I would wear it. There's something out there for everybody. Just like people. The date out there for everybody. Anyway, this.